Hello. Hi everyone. Good evening. As part of the today's lecture, we are going to study about one particular program, which is whether the given number is a magic number or not. Assume that you have a given this as a number, as an input number. Then your program should print whether that number is a magic number or not. Just the print statement. That's it. Then the first and foremost thing that we should know is what is a magic number? We should know, right? So the magic number means if you add all the digits from the given number, if it is a one, then it's a magic number. Okay. So whatever the sum of the given digits, you are adding it. And if the result is a one, then we treat it as a magic number, as simple as it. So here, if you see right now, 254 means 2 plus 5 plus 4. If you see this particular one, okay, 9 and 11. 9 plus 2 is 11. Again, 1 plus 1. So this is going to be 2. So 2, it's not a magic number. So it means the given 254, the sum of these 254 is a 2, which is not a magic number. If I get the sum as a 1, then I can consider it as a magic number. So maybe what I'm going to give now means if I give input as a 10. So 1 plus 0, which is equal to 1. The sum of the given number is a 1 basically. The sum of a digits in the given number is a 1. Hence, we treat it as a magic number. So you need to write down a Java program in such a way that it needs to pick one digit after another digit in the given number and it needs to perform an addition operation until the number is greater than zero. Or I can say until. So, you know, if it is a single digit and it is less than nine, then no need to perform this sum operation. Okay, then I no need to perform this particular sum operation. Okay, so in order to perform this particular logic, what I am doing right now means I have a created a Java program where in which I am defining the reminder is equal to one and sum I'm initializing it as a zero and the input number I'm giving it as a one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's it. I have given this as an input number. So these are the three different variables that I have created. So here, while the input number is greater than nine, first of all, I'm cross-checking whether that particular given number is greater than nine or not. So I'm going to accomplish this complete logic in a two different loops. The first loop I'm cross-checking whether the given number is greater than 9 or not. And in the second loop, while the input number is greater than 0. If it is greater than 0, the whole operation I'm going to perform with two different operators. One is a division operator and the second one is a module operator. So using a module operator and a division operator, we are going to perform this particular operation. So, reminder is the variable that I have created. Reminder is equal to given input number module by 10. So, whatever the number you have given as an input, just a module by 10, which is going to get the reminder. So, sum is equal to sum plus reminder of that number. That's it. So initially, at the very first time when it got executed, you know, the last character would be retrieved. And after that, what I'm going to do right now means, so out of these five digits, okay, out of these five digits, it retrieved the five and it performed the sum operation. Now you need to perform the operation on a four digits. That's the reason I'm updating my input number is equal to input number by 10. So I'm just dividing this operation by 10 so that 
it will remove the last digit from that particular number. So now it becomes a four. This loop will iterate. So at the end of this loop, what I'm going to do right now means input a number is equal to sum. Whatever the sum value is there that you are getting from this, I'm storing it as an input number. Okay, that's fine. We perform this particular operation and I'm initializing this sum to zero so that in the second time while it is iterating, the sum will start from zero. At the end of this loop, I will be getting this input number value if the input number is equal to one. System dot out dot println given number is a magic number. Else system dot out dot println given number is not a magic number. Okay, that's fine. Let me try to run this script and see what exactly it's going to print down to the console. Given number is not a magic number. Okay, that's fine. So here I'm giving 10 as an input to cross check whether the script is working properly or not. Run as a Java application. And if you see, given number is a magic number. So it means with the module operation and a division operation and using these two loops, I'm gonna achieve this complete magic number logic. That's it. Thank you. We'll see you in the next session, a different topic. Bye-bye.